In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Valsalvan maneuver. This was first invented by a person called Antonio Maria Valsalva. And uh, it basically, it's a forced exhalation where the airway is blocked. Sounds a bit strange, but it's actually quite a good test. Now, if someone has what you perceive to be, say, disc pathology, where it's an L4 or L5, and then you've got a disc that's touching a nerve root, Basically, it occupies the space. So the Valsalva, in this case, because there's many cases where you can use the Valsalva for checking the ears for cardiac examination, but we're gonna talk about uh, disc pathology in particular. One way of performing the Valsalva is very simple. Imagine that you go into the toilet and you're gonna perform uh, a number two, and, um, and you're gonna be bearing down. So if you just mimic the motion of bearing down, like so, and then you might find that actually brings on symptoms. So if you've got, say, sciatic pain in the leg or pain in the arm when you go to bear down, then you might find it actually increases the symptoms. Why? Because the disc is a space-occupying lesion, so it, it's increased by the intrafecal pressure there. The typical way we're going to do it, it's almost like when we equalize the pressure in the ear if you dive in. So if you just show us that one where you can just block the, the airway and you and you're almost like force in exhalation. And again, it's another type of Valsalva. Another way is using the thumb, and you can either suck the thumb or blow out. And then again, it's a form of uh, pressure change within that sort of area. So that would be the Valsalva maneuver. So if you suspect someone has, say, disc pathology, um, and you increase the pressure by performing the Valsalva, then that might increase the symptoms. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel.